Hey everybody, it's Thorpian here again on Skyblock Stranded here over on Hypixel Skyblock. And I'm here today to talk to you about what are the first minions I should get. Because I know when I first started Skyblock, I kind of got lost in the what is happening? Where can I go from here? What are my options? Like, what on earth am I supposed to do? I'm stuck all alone on this island and I'm sad and I'm lonely and there's not, you know, let me exhibit three the ghost and we need it. <clears throat> anyway. Um, so what I have here is I, I went ahead and, and I kind of organized my uh, minions that I have so far into uh, the categories of uh, minions that require zero kind of cleverness, minions that require a little cleverness, minions that require a lot of cleverness, and minions that honestly you have to look up a guide for because how the heck am I supposed to figure that one out on my own. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you today about in this video is the minions that require zero cleverness. So these are the ones that you could basically just walk up, do an action that you know how to do because you've played Skyblock before, and you should probably get these minions. And there's a few different ones here. So, and I'll explain to you how to get them and what I think is the best way to go about doing it. So the first minion we'll talk about is a cobblestone minion. Now the cobblestone minion spawns on the island, so if you can't figure out how to get a cobblestone minion... I, I can't help you with anything, um, but you should probably ask someone, if you're capable of it, to help you, like, wake up in the morning and instructions on how to put your left foot in front of your right foot. Anyway, there's, like, a lot of things you probably would need to know in addition if you can't figure out how to get this cobblestone minion, because you start with it. Anyway, alright, so, <clears throat> assuming you have enough intelligence to get the cobblestone minion, we're going to keep going here. So the, the next uh, minion that's kind of easy to get, it does technically require like a hair of thinking just because you do need to break the grass on your island to get seeds. But I showed you guys how to do that in my last video. So if you didn't figure that out by now, hopefully you've got it. Um, and to do that, you will just plant your seeds in uh, some kind of a farm. So any kind of dirt near water is fine. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and made a little wheat farm and you just farm the wheat. And well, that gets you wheat. I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, and you're going to need about uh, 80 wheat to make a wheat minion, I believe. Let's let's just confirm that number here real quick. Uh, wheat. Yeah, so you're going to need 80 wheat to make a wheat minion. Um, so then we have the oak minion. Uh, again, very straightforward. You start with the oak tree on your island. You're going to chop it down. You're going to make your tools like I showed you. And then you're going to make your tree farm. As you can see, I've expanded the tree farm that I had in the original video, in my first video. Um, and you just plant oak trees and you chop them down and then you replant them until you have enough oak wood to make a minion. And boom, there you go. 80 oak wood later, you have your oak minion. The oak minion is definitely a great one because that will let you kind of get into this whole foraging thing. And like I said, yep, 80. So you need 80 oak wood. Then you have uh, the two kind of really annoying minions that I personally think are stupidly long to get. I don't think there's any cleverer way around this, though, unfortunately. Um, and that's the fishing minion and magma cube minion. And you get these from fishing in uh, water. So if you fish in water, you'll get fish. I think everyone's, you know, we figured that out. And you need a stack of fish, so 64 fish to make the fishing minion and in order to make the magma minion um you're gonna need 80 magma cream and in order to get magma cream you just fish in a lava pool and as you'll see in a couple seconds here we'll have some particles show up not these particles the sharpness particles that's not what we're looking for it's going to be some of these like torch burning particles that are going to look like the fish trail that we get when we're fishing in water. Unfortunately, it's a touch slow, even if you're using the old speedster rod. Let's try again. Maybe we uh, maybe we can hit a good uh good RNG here with the fishing time. There we go. So as you can see, it's just caught a fish. Um, or a magma cream. Unfortunately, we burned in the lava, so there are some clever ways around that. I'll get into that in another video. Um, but basically, if you fish from below, that's kind of the way to go. All right, so that's how you get the magma 
cube minion and the chicken minion or the the fishing minion the fishing minion is incredibly important because it allows you to get clownfish it allows you to get a water bucket so you can make farms much more easily you technically could make all the farm you ever need with a single water bucket but then you'd have to have like layers and it honestly i think it would get a little annoying um so yeah so fishing minion very important for the water bucket very important for a bunch of other stuff then you have the magma cube minion, um, which you get from fishing in lava. Uh, you'll need 80 magma. This will allow you to unlock the nether biome stick, which is key to getting a lot of the minions. Um, it's also actually fishing in lava is a really, really, really good way to make some early game money to buy some of the starter gear from Rosetta here. Like, you know, you can get stuff like earn five coins and heal 20 per kill. Um, because when you get a good catch in the lava, you can get like 16k. Um, and if you get a good catch in water, you can get a golden apple, which you'll need for another minion later, which I'll talk about. So definitely fishing is an important thing. Keep your golden apples. Um, keep your coins, I guess. All right. And then we get into the kind of the, the combat minions. And those are going to be your passive minions, which is the chicken, cow, pig, and sheep and your uh, aggressive monster minions, which is gonna be zombie, skeleton, creeper, spider, enderman, and cave spider, actually, which you'll get from a spider eye collection, but I haven't personally made my way through there yet. So you'll need uh, 80 spider eyes. I think I have like 54 at the moment. Um, but if I put my spider minion down, obviously I'll get it pretty quick, I think. Anyway, uh, point being, the way you get these is you will just need to set up two platforms. Honestly, is probably the fastest way kind of two large platforms or even one gigantic platform. And you just want to kind of go back and forth um, and kill uh, the aggressive mobs. And if you want to make another platform or make part of your platform have grass and light, you can have uh, passive mobs spawn. And that's just kind of the way you have to do it. Um, you'll need 80 of the materials for the zombie skeleton creeper and spider minion. Uh, you'll need 64 ender pearls, um, 80 spider eyes. And you will need 64 e of each of the meats. So this will actually be uh, the raw beef here uh, to make these minions. And that will basically wrap up all of the starter minions in the game. So that'll help you to get uh, kind of going in terms of what you need to do. And then you can start getting fancy with it and use make getting collections that require other collections that require you to do certain things in order to progress. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this guide on how to get your first minions. Um, keep an eye out for, uh, well, actually, I'll go ahead and tell you now. So what I think is the absolute most important first minion. So this is the minion you should shoot for before you go for any other minion. And that is, other than the cobblestone minion, obviously, you know, we got it. You have him. Is going to be the skeleton minion because that will allow you to get the, the tree stuff going a lot faster. It'll allow you to get your crops growing faster um, when you're first starting out. And uh, actually, honestly, like if you're going for the skeleton, you might as well just go for all of the aggressive and uh, passive mob minions. So what I would do first is before you get fancy with your base, before you start building anything, before you really like start investing some time, is just make a giant platform and kill all the mobs and get the minions, and then you don't have to worry about it for later. And I'll show you guys a way to make, you know, some clever mob farms, uh, both like, you know, for active mobs, for passive mobs, ways to do it kind of more automated, ways to do it at least safely if you're not into the whole giant platform thing uh, in our next video. So thank you very much for watching. This is Thorpian, and I'm sitting here on Hypixel Skyblock Stranded. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, that way you can catch my next videos. Thank you very much. Bye!